All right, so what we're showing you here is power capacitors and their effectiveness. This first clip is of the power capacitor installed onto the Speed Control's plugs, a common technique that is very bad. Overall, it doesn't provide very much protection, um, and that's what this is showing us here. The next one is going to be the power capacitor installed remotely, well, kind of like what an ex additional accessory uh, power capacitor pack is done, but this is with the power capacitors removed from the Speed Control, and you see that's slightly better than on the plugs. Um, and the next one is the power capacitor installed directly on the power wires of the speed control. And each of these is getting slightly better protection is what we're showing here. And the final one is the power capacitor is installed directly onto the speed control itself, just like they come from the factory, and it will provide the most protection. And the idea of this video is very simply to show you the location of the power capacitors and how it affects protecting the speed control. So the further away it gets from the speed control, basically, the less protection it provides. And as you can see on the speed control, it provides the best connection. So this is just a quick couple pictures of how we had them all soldered up to give you an idea of what you just watched. And that this is a speed control with no power capacitors on it and just accessories. And then finally with the factory installed power capacitor locations as well as the hard data on what that graphics were all showing you during the video. So there you have it folks, power capacitor location and its effectiveness. All right, so what does all of that really mean? Basically, what we we're showing you in the video is that the closer your power capacitor is to your speed control, the better it job it does of protecting the speed control from all the things that a power capacitor is protecting the speed control from, ripple current, ripple voltage, all sorts of good stuff. So some of the speed controls, they come with like an accessory power cap with big long wires. So the, the next best thing would be to use your power cap um, on some leads and then extend it. And the shorter these leads are, they're gonna the better they're gonna be. Sometimes you can't put your power cap right next to the speed control or pre-installed like this. You kind of have to remote mount it. But the shorter these leads are, the better. Beyond that, the power capacitors don't do a lot when you connect them uh, on the wires or on the plug or anything like that. And that's kind of what the video is trying to show everybody is essentially, once again, that the closer your power capacitor is to your actual power leads on your speed controller where the power wires connect, uh, the better protection you're going to get for your speed control. If you're adding a power capacitor pack onto a speed control that has power capacitors already, shortest leads that you can do and then directly to the power leads of the speed control is going to be your next best option. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email anytime. Thanks a lot.